Hello reception. Today we're going to be doing some work from your learning pack this week. We're going to be working on measuring. We're going to be measuring how tall things are or how long things are. And we're going to look at some important words now to help us to understand about measuring. The first word that we need is what we're actually going to be doing, measure. Here's the word, measure. That's what we're doing this week. And we are going to do some work measuring height, how tall things are. And we're also going to be work measuring length, how long things are. Some other words that we need are tall. That's when we measure how tall, how high things are. Taller, one thing might be this tall, the next thing might be taller. And the word tallest. Some things are short, and this word says short. Some things are even shorter, and this word says shorter. And if something's even shorter, it could be the shortest thing of all. And this word says shortest. Now, to help us understand more about these words, I've got some flowers to show you. First of all, I got an iris. This lovely purple flower is an iris. This iris is quite tall. This word goes with the iris. It's tall. Now I've got another flower to show you. This is a tulip. And I've cut the stalk off really short. So the tulip is quite short. So we have the iris that's tall and the tulip that's short. And then I've got another flower to show you. Do you know what this one is? This is a rose. Let's compare the rose to the iris. Oh, look, the iris is taller than the rose, but the rose is shorter than the iris. And if I get the tulip, we've got the tulip, the rose and the iris. Which one is the tallest? You're right. It's the iris. That's the tallest. Which one is the shortest? Can you see? That's right. It's the tulip. The tulip is the shortest. I'm going to put those down now and talk about what we're actually going to be doing next. When we measure, you can use a ruler, or you might have seen one of these things. I like playing with these. This is a tape measure. We can use rulers or tape measures. We're not going to be using those today, though. We are going to be using bricks, because these are very helpful for measuring. And if you watch the next bit of the video, you'll see me using bricks to measure some toys. So I've decided I'm going to do my measuring with some Russian dolls because we've got a Russian doll on the windowsill in the maths area in Snowdrop class and I know that some children really enjoy playing with the Russian doll. The Russian doll we have in Snowdrop class looks a little bit like this one. And this one is quite tall. So that's one of our words that we're using. This Russian doll is quite tall. Now I've got another Russian doll that I'm going to look at today. I think I'm going to choose this one. This Russian doll is not very tall. We could say this Russian doll is quite short. And we could say that this Russian doll is taller than the other Russian doll. And this Russian doll is shorter than this Russian doll. Now, I want to actually measure these Russian dolls and see how tall they are. And I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm going to use some bricks to measure how tall they are. Now, if you're using bricks, it's a good idea to sort your bricks out first. You want bricks that are all the same shape. And I've got some here. They're all the bricks that look like this. In my box of bricks, there's all sorts of bricks. There's some that look like this. And they are much taller than the ones I've sorted out. So I don't want to use them because I want bricks that are all the same size for measuring. So I've got my bricks here and I'm going to measure the tall Russian doll first. I'm just going to move the camera a bit so you can see better. 
so here he is, or she is, and I start off building a tower that's going to be the same size as the tall Russian doll. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that tall enough? Maybe I need one more. Eight. And if I look at them sideways, they're just about the same height now. So we can count the bricks to find out how many bricks high this Russian doll is. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this Russian doll is eight bricks tall. I wonder how much this shorter one is. Should we count and measure together? Here it is. Put the first one down. One. Two. Three. You think I need another one? Perhaps I do. Four. So how many bricks tall is this Russian doll? Should we count and check? One, two, three, four. This Russian doll is four bricks tall. So if we take the towers, we can see that this tower is much taller than this one. This one's the same height as the tall Russian doll. This one's the same height as the short Russian doll. Let's see how many bricks taller this one is. So they're both the same up to here. But then there's one, two, three, four more bricks on this tower. So the Russian doll is four bricks taller than the short Russian doll. If we look inside this Russian doll, see what we find. Here's the shortest Russian doll of them all. Can you see that one? It's tiny. Shall I try and measure that one with the bricks? Here it is. Oh, I'll put it a bit further back so you can see. It's not even the same size as one brick. It's shorter than one brick. So that's the shortest Russian doll of them all. Now we're going to look at some of the maths activities that Mrs Kiriakou has sent you on the home learning sheet. The first activity is all about building lots of towers with blocks. If you have any sort of blocks, wooden blocks or mega blocks or duplo, any sort of blocks, it would be really good if you could build towers with them. Here's some that I made with my duplo, all different sizes. When you've built a few blocks, maybe you could line them up in order of height. So I'm going to start with the shortest here. Then that one comes next, then I think it's that one, then that one, then that one. And maybe you could count some of the blocks in your towers. So this one has one, two, three, and I'm going to write number three underneath it. This one has, or oh, I'll do this tall one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to write number ten next to it. So you can have some fun just making blocks, putting them in order, writing the numbers. When you've done that, maybe you can do the next activity, which is all about finding five different things in your house. It can be anything, a toy car, a cup, a chair. They can be big things, small things. You choose five different things and you can measure the height or you can measure the length of those things using anything you want, like blocks, or you could even try using some paper clips. We've got some eggs here, you could try using those. All sorts of things you could use to measure the heights and the lengths of things. Remember, it doesn't have to be how tall they are, it can be how long they are. Like I'm going to measure this crocodile's tail using paper clips. So put them along beside his tail, measure it. Pop that in where it starts. One, two. Three, four, oh, there's a little bit 
of room there. So it's the crocodile's tail is four and a little bit paper clips long. So you can do measuring length or you can do measuring height. And if it's a really big thing, it might be a good idea to use your hands to measure. You can put a hand near the bottom, then your next hand, and you can keep going all the way up to the top, counting how many hands tall your object is. So lots of different things to do there. I hope you have lots of fun. Maybe you can send us some photographs of what you've been measuring and you can write the numbers of the unit that you used. There's a challenge on the sheet. It says build two towers and add the heights together. So it says eight blocks add six blocks equals 14 blocks. So you're doing a number sentence, an adding sentence with your towers. Should we have a quick try at that before we finish? I'll choose that tower. I think I'll choose that tower. So let's write a number sentence about these blocks. If I've got, how many here? One, two, three blocks. Three blocks. And then I'm going to add on four blocks. One, two, three, four. Add four blocks. Equals, oh, I'll put them together to find out how much they make all together, shall I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A tower with seven blocks. So lots of different things for you to have a go at there. Ask an adult to help you to read all of the things to make sure that you don't miss anything out. Have lots of fun and let us know how you get on. Bye.